Hi there! Are you ready for some fun projects created by the Crafty Secrets design team today? The team was to make different themed envelope gift bags. Yeah, we started with the regular envelope any size we wanted and created these darling little gift bags. So let's get started. Here's a picture of my two projects. I'm going to show you how I made the small bag with the little bird. And for the second one, I'm only going to show you how I use the Spellbinder dies to cut the top of the bag. After I watched the little video on how to fold my envelope to make my bag, I thought instead of using just scissors and cut a straight line across the top, I'd use Spellbinder's new edge abilities to create a more decorative edge. As you can see in the picture, I do have fold lines ready to fold, but didn't fold anything until after I cut and embossed the top. It would just add extra thickness if you do, so I didn't. After I decided which dies I wanted to use, I then taped them together and then taped them to the envelope, then cut and embossed to get this results. Oh, the link to the video on how to create this little project is located at craftysecrets.com. Ink your image and stamp first on your scratch paper, then on your project. By doing this, you remove most of your ink and get a much softer image on your project. Notice, I still haven't folded my bag yet. With your sponge applicator and a softer ink, sponge every here and there to create something like this. Or, if you want more color, that's fine too. On a scratch piece of cardstock, cut a little larger than my main image, I used the same ink and inked just like I did the bag. Then, used the Distress It All and went around the edges of both pieces shown here. Added foam tape to the back of both images and attached them as shown here. I added self-adhesive pearls to the top of the bag design and started putting everything together including folding the bag. I did use Copic markers to tint the edge of the little prima flower and tied a knot in the netting and attached everything as shown. The last thing was stuffing some tool inside my little bag and that was it. For the larger bag, I placed my dies as shown and cut and embossed, then finished by stamping and coloring with Copic markers. I hope you enjoyed my projects today. I had fun sharing them with you. So until next time, bye now.